Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to check out another Recurve figure, and this is one that I was really excited about because it's a species that doesn't get figures very often, and I love whenever they do because it's such a very interesting and unique looking dinosaur. This is their Monolophosaurus, and it's honestly one that I was not expecting to be made by Recur, but they do kind of deliver some pretty obscure species at times, not saying that Monolophosaurus is all that obscure, especially with its continued popularity now in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, but the species as far as getting figures goes, it's kind of obscure. We don't get very many, so it's nice to see here a recurve version, and it's also a really sizable figure, which is pretty nice. Definitely the biggest Monolophosaurus that I have in my collection, without question, and it also has a really nice pose for it. Beautiful looking paint scheme, nothing overly flashy, nothing too complicated that looks unnatural. You know, it's a pretty plain looking paint scheme, but it looks natural on the figure, and then of course we have that little bit of flashiness up there on that top area of the head with the reddish coloration which looks really cool and then as usual as far as the recur line goes we have a little tag over here that if you open it up it actually gives you a scale for your monolophosaurus which we can see this one is in 1 19th scale as well as the product size itself and then as we go along here we have some information on the monolophosaurus as well as like a question and answer area and then some information on recur themselves and we also have a little stand here that is connected to the foot I just take this off see how well it stands without the stand perfectly so that is definitely nice to see that's not something i don't think i've ever encountered would be a recur figure that had a balancing problem it's just not something that seems to ever happen so just like per usual the monolophosaurus stands beautifully so let's go ahead and get a closer look right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of the monolophosaurus it looks really quite nice you can see the nostrils sculpted out up there at the tip of the snout and you also have some really nice darker coloration that is used to elaborate the nostril area you can also see some like darker dry brushing that appears in a few different areas there's a nice darker brown that kind of borders and rings around the eye right there the eye is painted with a yellow or like green actually it's like a yellowish green and given a nice black pupil and again you can see the detail there around the eye also looks really well done you can see the detailing up here on the top of the head that kind of trademark area of the monolophosaurus also looks really nice and we have a really nice transition from this like yellowish orangish brown coloration which is the primary body color to that red up there on the top and the red also sports a really nice glossy look so it shines and stands out really nicely the inside of the mouth also looks nice as the monolophosaurus has its mouth quite wide open. You can see the teeth are all painted pretty well, very nicely done overall. It seems like the teeth are kind of sculpted individually. Each tooth is painted very carefully and very nicely. Something that's common with the recurve figures is you don't really see paint on the inside of the teeth, but you do see it on the outside, which I'm kind of becoming accustomed to. The further into these reviews I get, and I think it actually looks quite nice. You have a very nice realistic tone of color used for the inside of the mouth as well. You can see a nice tongue sculpted out in there, nice texture to the tongue, beautiful coloration chosen for the inside of the mouth as well as given a pretty nice looking glossy appearance so it shines like a you know real mouth would like saliva like look as we move back into the neck region you can see some nice skin texture on the monolophosaurus as well as those like almost kind of faint stripes start to show up you can see that they're just really faint uh, like a brownish coloration you can see some nice wrinkles and everything going on down here in the lower part of the neck beautiful transition to this kind of a yellowish coloration for the underside of the neck you can see the throat elaborated there you can also see really nice yellowish coloration here for the underside of the neck and you can see lots of like wrinkles and creasing and everything going on like some hanging skin and stuff here in the lower part of the throat but as we continue to move down into the figure you can see the shoulder blade protruding from the skin a little bit right there you can also see some nice muscle tone displayed here actually really nice muscle tone displayed in the arm of the monolophosaurus he's absolutely been hitting the gym and it shows you can see the hands are really nicely sculpted on the monolophosaurus nicely painted nails there with a glossy black you can also see some nice detailing as we lead down into the chest 
as well as some chest muscles right there. The actual texturing here to the skin in the stomach region looks quite nice and there's a little bit more of that dry brushing that shows up here and there on the figure. You can also see the spinal column up here on the back of the model of Asaurus, as well as some more of those kind of faint brownish stripes and some more of that dry brushing. So the majority of the body seems to have that dry brushing, which honestly is actually quite subtle with the way it's applied. Like I feel like when you look at it from a distance, it doesn't really jump out at you. And uh, when you get it nice and close, it's only then that you really take notice to that kind of dry brushing throughout the entire figure. As we move back here into the leg, you can definitely see some nice muscle tone displayed in the thigh, as well as the calf. As we move a little further down, you can see the kneecap present there on the front of the leg, and you can really see how the skin is stretching off of the body with this leg pulling forward, stretching that skin. As we lead down into the foot, as I drag the tail across the backdrop, because his tail's pretty long, you can see a pretty nice looking foot sculpt with some scoots down the course of the toes. The scoots are actually painted with kind of like a goldish coloration, which is very interesting. Something that I actually didn't take note of previously until just now. Don't know how big of a fan I am of that kind of gold dry brushing. I would have preferred maybe like that darker brown or that like faint brown that we have on here to kind of dry brush and elaborate those scoots out but it still looks quite interesting definitely you know thinking outside the box i would say the feet are also quite large which definitely helps as far as like standing goes it definitely helps for balance but they are obviously a bit larger than they should be you can see the dew claws are present on the figure and actually really nicely painted as well beautiful glossy black included there again as we move up into the tail you can see the skin stretching like i had mentioned before but as we lead out the length of the tail you can see like some more skin folds and stuff here as we lead out into that nice curve there at the end not any type of a huge drastic curve to the tail but definitely nice and natural looking as we come over to the opposing side of our monolophosaurus you could see more pretty nice looking detailing throughout the head sculpt of the figure again nothing overly crazy as far as a detailing standpoint goes nice natural look for the figure and again the really nicely painted eye looks beautifully placed the dinosaur has its head facing in a left turn so we can kind of see like the skin stretching over here but it's not too much of a drastic turn so it wouldn't really be showing off too much stretching of the skin and Recur has actually shown that quite nicely in the sculpt. You can again see more of that like hanging skin and stuff down here in the throat region of the dinosaur. As we continue to move down into the body, you can pick up on the shoulder blade yet again, as well as his very much so jacked arms as he's again been really heavily working out. You can see the elbow is present in the back of the arm right there. And then of course the hand looks quite nice. As we move back into the stomach region, you can now see the skin stretching off of the stomach here with the leg pulling back because the monolophosaurus has obviously taken a nice step forward with the left leg leading and the right leg trailing. So it's nicely showing that off as far as like the movement of the skin in the sculpt. You can see the rib cage actually a little bit right there, but it's really subtle. Like you can just barely notice it right there, which is definitely nice to see because we don't want to see any type of a starving dinosaur or anything like that. Again, more of those really subtle brown stripes. You do have the hip bone right here, as well as, again, the very nice-looking muscle definition like we had seen on the previous side in both the thigh-calf region. And you can also see the kneecap present a little bit right there. Pretty nice-looking foot sculpt, again, with that kind of goldish running down the scoots, which I'm not a super huge fan of, but I also don't think it looks bad. I'm just not entirely sure how I feel about that quite yet. But the nails look really good as far as a paint standpoint goes. You can see the dew claw now on the opposing foot over there. And then we lead back up into the tail, and the tail looks really quite nice like we had just seen on the previous side. The entire underside of the dinosaur also has a beautiful texturing to it, as well as a nice yellowish coloration, which helps the figure to really stand out as far as that goes. But this monolophosaurus is yet another really cool recur figure, and I'm so psyched to now actually see a monolophosaurus included in the recur line. And just like usual with my recur figure reviews, I do want to take a moment to mention the fact that the dinosaur is that soft, squishy feel, and you can bend it and turn it and everything like that, which has, you know, quite a few purposes to it. One of which, if this is a figure you are looking to buy for your kids, you know, it's a great choice. Any recur figure always is because they have that soft, squishy feel. So it's something that I know kids get rough when they're playing with them. When my son was younger and he was playing with dinosaurs, I can't even begin to count the amount of bruises that I received from him beating me with them. But again, that's not something you'll ever really encounter when it comes to recurve figures being that soft, squishy feel. But also the fact that it really helps with the overall durability of the figures. Makes them last longer as far as like not chipping the paint or damaging the figure because of the soft, squishy feel. I could 
probably pick this monolophosaurus up and throw it across the room into the wall, and it will not even sustain any damage because I have dropped quite a few recurve figures over the years, and I have never even remotely come close to damaging one, which is definitely a huge plus. But as per usual, when you get a recurve figure, you also know you are getting a pretty sizable figure. And for the size of this monolophosaurus for a length, you were looking at about a foot right there, pretty much on the nose, about 12 inches or 30 centimeters. And then for a height, the highest point is obviously the head. So you're looking at about five and a half inches or about 14 centimeters, closing in on 14 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our Recur Monolophosaurus. And as per usual, you can see that the figure being a Recur model is really quite large. And you can definitely see that in comparison to Mr. Papo Rex right here, who is a pretty big figure. And the Monolophosaurus is obviously a good bit larger. So as usual, you get a really nice sculpt, really nice paint job, nice soft and safe figure, as well as a really quite soft one. So this Recur model of a source is a really exciting release to me personally because again I'm a huge fan of Monolophosaurus in general and I really feel like the dinosaur is so underrated and just consistently gets overlooked as far as figures go and like you wouldn't expect that because of how unique the dinosaur looks you would expect it to be fairly popular but it's just not really the case I don't know why there's just so few of them out there but again maybe that'll change now that Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous has been out for a little bit and the Monolophosaurus does have a pretty significant moment in season three where it's really you know important and included in a pretty big moment in that show but this figure again looks great it's one that I was really excited about just because it's a Monolophosaurus that has entered the recur line and I also really like this figure because it's so unique looking like it just looks so different than what you normally see as far as a Monolophosaurus goes and I like that aspect of it because it's one of the things that really appeals to me as far as recur goes is how different they are from other companies and how unique their figures always look like I feel like that's something that really attracts me to them because I like difference I like things that feel fresh and new and different than everybody else if everyone just made the exact same figure it wouldn't really be that exciting but the fact that recur always makes theirs a little bit stylized and just has like their own really cool recur look you know like that's something that i find honestly quite appealing and that's exactly what i see here with this monolophosaurus very nice looking sculpt as the dinosaur is just kind of walking along letting out a yell or something like that maybe trying to intimidate another monolophosaurus or something who really knows you can also see that there is a really nice paint job applied to the figure, which I do quite like. I'm not the biggest fan in the world of the tones of color used, but at the same time, I actually think it looks pretty nice on the figure. Definitely appealing, and I do like the very subtle dark brown stripes that have been included all throughout the figure running down the course of like the arms, the legs, but of course the back and tail, it definitely looks really cool. I think the only thing on the figure that I could say that I personally am not a huge fan of, and that would be the really large feet as they are quite large but honestly moving past the large feet which you know is a good thing in a way because it helps to balance this figure has zero stability issues at all like it stands really well but moving past the large feet i think the monolophosaurus looks great and is definitely another awesome addition to the recur line so if you are interested in picking this up make sure you check the link in the description as i will have a link to both the recur website as well as the recur amazon store where you can purchase this or any of the other recur figures that you've seen on my channel recently so make sure you one way or another pick this up because it is absolutely awesome and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching